Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Hope we're doing well. Going live on Facebook as well. We're going to dish. Okay, now that I've tested the sound, I know the sound is working. Let's go live on Facebook. Yeah, it's about time. Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Jackie McKeever. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. This is the welcome to the morning tea segment where we take two tea bags, two tea bags. Excuse me, let me restart. <laughs> well, we take our cup, we take our cup, put hot water, two tea bags, a little honey for sweetness, and <sighs> sip on the tea. Normally on Tuesdays, you all do not see me. Usually there's an audio because I post this for my podcast. And those of you who follow me on the podcast, uh, Victory Chat, this is where we talk about, excuse me, various topics such as self-development, finance, business, and everything in between. So today I decided to go live and y'all know anything can happen live, just like I burped by mistake. It's not going to be edited. It is what it is. It happens. So anyway, today's topic is called Derek is about Derek Jackson um, with the subtitle women's self view. Okay. So let me give y'all a little feedback because I know some of my listeners had never heard of Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson is a YouTuber, best-selling author, a speaker, a CEO of card games for couples. He's considered a, a, a relationship guru. He has about 1.3 followers or more on IG. So earlier this month, um, he confessed to having multiple affairs. And also for those of you who don't know, he's quoted with talking about um, real men don't cheat and things of that nature. He's married to a Denia, a Denia Jackson. So Derek Jackson spells his, changed the spell of his name. He actually spells his name a little different. So they um, did a video that was on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube, um, on, and it went viral. So 2.6 million views, this is according to the New York Post, he got 2.6 million views in one day on IG, uh, 600,000 on YouTube and a half a million on Facebook from this video where his wife came on with him. He was holding her hand and she had some type of uh, yarn material, something on her head that he said was a hat. And most people thought it was a bonnet. I don't know what it was. And so they talked, she had on a black sweater, some black jeans, and people made comments saying that it looked like she had just woke up out of bed. She had a bonnet on and no bra and stuff like that. And he wanted to do a video. Um, a lot of people are not really focusing on what he said much and what he's about. They're really focusing on the wife. And in this conversation, we're um, my focus is totally on the, the women's view. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, 
I am a life and business coach. What I do is I help women get organized so that they can compete with contracts. Uh, So on YouTube, I talk about self-development, personal finance, and of course, business. So in this segment and um, this section talking about Jared, Derek Jackson situation. I'm dividing it in three parts. This part for today, I'm going to talk about self-development. Um, the second part too is going to be about finance. And um, of course, part three will be about the business part of this fiasco, this issue that they're going through. Um, that many people are commenting. It's a popular topic. So guess what? We're going to talk about it. So again, y'all grab your cup, put some hot water in it, grab you two tea bags, two tea bags, Uh, add a little honey for sweetness, and let's sip on this tea because we going to go in on it. Okay. So some people are making little jokes and videos talking about what they would have done if that was them. I can't believe that he had her come on there and he didn't, he was looking good. He had a little tight sweater on and, and she was, he just let her come out like anything. So I was going to show you all a small clip of the video. So I went to his IG page today, like I'm confessing, and I I could not find the video. I don't know if he took it down or if I overlooked it, but I could not find the video. Um, I hope he didn't take it down because so many people have recorded that video. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I am, I have another device. I am start, it's in the New York Post, y'all. So we're going to talk about it. Okay. So this episode, because they recorded this thing, I think he was making an attempt to try to save his brand because his whole brand is, um, is surrounded by his situation, the image that he portrayed. Um, about his marriage. And so uh, if you go to his IG page, and I'm not going to show you his IG page. If you go to his IG page, he's pushing healing, right? Because if you listen to the video, she talks about how, yes, she was upset and she got mad And apparently they used to be, uh, they, they been together since they were, um, in high school. They've been together since they were in high school. I clicked the wrong button, y'all. They've been together since they were in high school. I just want to show y'all. That is in a New York Post. The thing is titled Relationship Guru, Derek Jackson, Exposed for Serial Cheating on Wife. And so they have a clip of the video. You can watch the whole video. It's nothing made up. Uh, I am just, I'm not specifically talking about their relationship period, but I want to talk about the effects of self-development on relationship, the women's, the woman's view because the man, okay. So one thing we can't control, you cannot control and I don't know what happened with my little Facebook thing. Oh, there I am. I mean, excuse me, YouTube thing. Anyway, so you cannot control the way a man behaves, what he thinks, the things he said. You can't control other people. But you can control the thing 
how you react to that person. So she's chosen to forgive her husband and she came back to the relationship. But one thing um, you have to understand, even though she came back to the relationship, she's still healing. She's still healing. But regardless, and a lot of people would say, oh, I would have left that man. But truth be told, would you have really left the man that you've been with since high school that has multiply, that cheated on you multiple times? I mean, there's a lot at stake, but let's talk about her view. Um, there could have been tons of views. I mean, I've been in a relationship where the my significant other was not faithful. And when something like that happens, when you invest a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money, a lot of experience um, on that, and you have a child added to it, it really hurts your self-image because a, a woman is a nurturer. They're naturally uh, taught from the time that they basically pop out that they're supposed to have uh, meet this man, get married, have a picket fence, take care, have children and take care of the household. They're supposed to be the uh, support system for their man. So when um, you have issues like this, it has the woman questioning her, it, it can cause a woman, and I'm not talking about Denia, uh, to question her self-worth, her values, her self-image, her ability to trust again. Like she starts to wonder in her head, were there signs? Should I have got out early? Why did I waste so many years? Um, I don't know if you've had a relationship like that, whether you a man or a woman or whoever you choose to love, or if you chose to love both, that's not what this is about. This is about the way you view yourself, about your self-development. It can cause you to be confused, to be lost. Um, you've heard in the media where uh, people like allegedly uh, Britney Spears, they had in the news where she shaved her head off. She was going through an, an image crisis where you're looking to belong to something because you are lost. And I don't know, like when I read the New York Post, it mentioned that some affair happened in March. Um, when I watched the video clip, they said something about, oh, he said something about 13 months ago, a year ago, whatever. It doesn't matter how long it's been. Because in that woman's mind, it was just like it happened this morning. And it could tear you apart. And then you have people in the background telling you, girl, don't worry about it. Men are just like buses. You'll wait long enough, another one will come on, come along. Don't worry about it. Stop crying. Stop aching. Or, and then you have other ones, especially people of the church. Girl, you just need to go to God in prayer and pray about it. Mm -mm, don't leave that man. Don't leave that man, girl. He done took care of you. So what? He had a few side pieces. That's all right. He knew where his home was. He came back to you. That's all right. And meanwhile, all you want to do is silent the voices. When you become lost in that occurrence it can cause stress it can cause anxiety because you're looking for 
healing. And you just want those feelings and those thoughts to leave. Now, he does have a book about healing. I have not read any of his books. I'm not telling you not to follow this man. I'm not telling you to follow this man. I don't know what's going on in a relationship, but I'm telling you that I do understand a woman's self-view when a relationship, especially a marriage, does not end up the way you imagine it to be. And for some, they can just get back on a horse and go again. But others like me, it took me 12 years to get comfortable enough to wear certain walls that I had built up. I agree with you. I wish people would stop acting like he's God. He is human. And yes, it is. Um, I'm on, Like I told y'all, I'm on Facebook and I'm reading someone's comment. She put down, I wish y'all would stop acting like he's God. He's a human, just like anyone else. If she took her husband back, that's her choice. Yes, that's her choice. Um, I'm not talking about her taking him back. The focus of today is the effects of heartbreak, how it affects the woman's view and that it can take time to heal. Sometimes people think that healing should take months or it could take weeks. But the truth is about healing, about self-development, is it happens over time. First, it begins with acceptance. Y'all heard, first, it, it, accepting the fact that you cannot control what that person feels, what that person was thinking, and it has nothing to do with you. Somebody else's choices has nothing to do with you. Except that, okay, it happened. There's nothing I can do about yesterday. Number two, it's not to beat yourself up about it. Many times we stay in a rut because we continually, continuously beat ourselves up over things we could not control. Do we all play a part in when things get bad? Of course we do. but we can't beat ourselves up over the past. We have to do number three, which is learn from it and get past it. Getting past it means what it, it means different from each other. It's different for everybody. Getting past my heartbreak was me taking time to be by myself, to evaluate or really get to know Jackie again, to evaluate how I felt about myself, to make an area that was neglected, that I had been neglecting. Hello. To make it whole.
Then after that, I had to do the work. I had to create a plan and do the work. Okay, Jackie, how can you grow and begin to love yourself more and build yourself back up? What are the right choices for you, Jackie? And that's the same thing we all women have to do. You have to decide what's best for you. Nobody can control your life but you. Now, you can decide to stay in that relationship or you can decide to get past or leave it. It's up to you. But it's important that you take time and make a decision. Clear your head and decide what's your end goal. What do you really want? That's all I have for today. This is part one. Derek Jackson, Woman's Self View, part of the morning tea where we took our cup poured hot water, grab two tea bags, a little honey for sweetness and sip on that tea. That's all I have for today. Make sure you support more broadcasts just like this by buying you one of your girls, that's the word, t-shirts. You can purchase your t-shirt at www.jackiemckeever.com. Au revoir. This is Victory Chat with Jackie. Your victory start here. And this was the morning tea segment. Until we meet again, y'all make sure y'all join us next week as we talk uh, part two where we're going to dig into personal finances. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.